hopefully that looks all right. Don't know because I'm not iconic stance, so I'm not good at doing videos in my car. My block, fresh to death in my cheeks, peak chain in my watch. I'm the truth, I don't lie. Out of space, I'm so high. Perp rolling that white boy, spark it up, we gon' fry. Coop looking all clean, clean. About to meet with my team. My bro, booty so big, it was all a dream. Cat fitted, it stay on. G sh, my shades on. Y'all wanna play, but it's game on. Y'all boys up, so I stay on. I'm happy that I made it All the broads around me All of them are sedated By the swag, cause I'm bad I spit the truth, I ain't gotta brag I put it on my mama I'm shooting out with a man I worry about the present So I don't forget The reason I'm doing this again is because The last time I filmed this was actually on the day this got requested Which was about oh, two, about Almost two weeks ago now Love it. Absolutely love the turbo flutter. Um, yeah, I tried it, but uh, because I'm a cheapskate and uh, I've got a really crap camera mount, well, this is what happened last time. <laughs> shaky and well you couldn't really see fuck all <laughs> so what car have I got well this car as you may have seen it in the background of some of my old videos uh, and I say old because I haven't actually put out a video in five months which is ridiculous it really is ridiculous um, but the car I've got is a 1.6 turbo Corsa VXR Love it, absolutely love it. Um, and although it's not loud because I've changed some stuff up myself, uh, believe it or not, this car's actually ready to be stage threed. It's straight up ready to be stage threed, apparently. Now the, the last guy who had it, um, he's my mate, and he then got it off of his mate. So it's local and it's had two car mechanics on before, and the one before is the one that did it up. Completely. The front mount in the cooler, for example, was apparently off a um, 400 brake Scooby. Conveniently looks a lot like the ones you can buy on eBay, but you know, not gonna judge. It says it's ready to be stage freed, but apparently it's then the standard turbo, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stage free standard turbo, because that thing will probably get to the end of the street and then just blow up and spill oil everywhere, which I'm not gonna though it's apparently ready to be stage three and I'm, if anything I'm going to take it up to stage two. Um, it's, uh, it's standard as far as I'm aware so it's running at one it came out at 175 from the factory so I'm gonna say it's at 170 I'm just gonna put it there don't know if it's got a remap on it it feels like it does but I'm not sure because obviously this is my you know first VXR. I've never driven another one, so I don't know. But it very quickly, you know, hits up to you know two, three k, and you feel sort of all the power there. And 
then after that you don't really feel a lot more um, now I know it stayed local and there's a place in St Ives which I was looking at which does a uh, remapping um, but it literally just brings the power forward so you get the whole amount of your power for your whole rev range this goes up to you know it's red line in a six and a half um, but you know it's, you can take up all the power from that um, from that gear and it'll give it to you in about two or three K so you have all the power and you can shift quicker and you can go through the gears quicker to be honest this thing goes through the gears quick enough so I'm not too fussed about that don't scratch my room second I can see I can go which I can I did pretty much made the turbo flutter sound <laughs> good and I've never been down that track I really do want to try and go down that track but it's always flooded and I'm not taking this car I don't really want to take my CBR either it'd be funnier if I take the CBR off-roading like that would be proper off-roading whereas my other one was just you know a little track Whereas that would be proper off-roading. Uh, it'll be funny and I'll properly drop it like Baron Von Grumble did a couple of years ago. Come on. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, let's say if this vid gets 30 likes, because I know it won't. I know it won't. It'll probably get like 7. So if this gets 30, I'll do it. How about that? How reliable is the car? Very. And I will... I'm probably jinxing myself here saying that, but the car has been, at least up until this point, it's been very reliable. It's only had one problem, and that is I've got an engine management light, but I've had it scanned in at my mates, and uh, it's just the front lambda sensor is gone. So, oh Jesus. All I've got to do is 20 quid for a new one of those, and then get him to... I'm not going to make that. Another problem, lack of a turning circle. This car just does not turn. Oh, I hit that bump again. Pleasantly surprised because, I mean, the way that I'm sure this car has been ragged about easily. I mean, this came with um, uh, straight through from the turbo all the way through that exhaust it was blisteringly loud what I've done is I've actually welded on the standard back box so that it still pops you can just about hear the pop on the downshift um, if you shift past about 5k rpm uh, then you can easily hear the car pop um, but it doesn't flame anymore it, it used to flame uh, when it was straight through but then it was ridiculously loud and the thing that got me the most with that was motorway driving oh my god just hearing the constant drone was terrible how much did i pay i paid four thousand pounds for the car um and my insurance is two thousand four hundred it was seventeen hundred but then my dad uh wanted to get it black boxed to take it down to 1,300 but then when the guy turned up on the door uh, on the day I opened the door and he said have you told your insurance about your mods at which point I started crying because I knew it was gonna happen and it did my insurance got cancelled then when I had to get it set up I had to promise them on phone that it was going back to standard so that's why I've welded back on the back box it's still straight through from the turbo back it's still got all the engine stuff and um, it's now sitting on standard suspension instead of coilovers. So all I've done is just made it quieter and raised up the car. That's all I've done. It's still a monster. It's just been tamed down just a little bit for the insurance's side. How does it drive? It drives beautifully, my friend. In this car, and I'm not on about VXRs in general. I'm on about my car. It's had an upgraded clutch, so the clutch is very, very firm which after doing leg day in the gym, oh, the traffic, just, just pressing your clutch is horrible. 
Um, and the steering's quite heavy as well. Um, because when I've then driven my mate's cars and my old car and blah, 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 it is so light compared to it. Like this one, I'm used to it, so it's light normal. But then the second I drive another car, like I drove my mate's car the other day, and every time I went to shift, literally, my foot just on the car, bang, straight to the floor. Like, he was like, why are you pressing it so hard? And I was like, it's because I'm used to my heavy, heavy clutch. And then obviously I'm used to the heavy steering, so every time I went around a corner, it was like, woof. <laughs> it goes for you through all like crazy. Like, I could put in 25 pounds and that'll get me half a tank or just a. Okay, it's just you rattling. I hate it when you hear a new rattling noise, I'm like straight away, what is it? Um, yeah, 25 pounds can get me just under halfway. I only ever go halfway, I never really fill it up. Because obviously if you fill it up, heavier your car, uses fuel quicker. If I drive it daily, I can just about get five days out of that. Out of half a tank, I'll just get like five days. And I don't drive it, you know, like rag it about everywhere. I drive it normally quite sensibly because I'm just driving to and from work. And, you know, you always have moments where, don't pull out, good boy. You always have moments where, hey, he was looking. With a slight roll, probably one or two miles an hour. First gear, like I don't know if you saw me looking down, I was concentrating because I was trying so hard to minimize the wheel spin. It did, it did, nah, first gear just went straight up and just sort of sat there right at the top. So, 